Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of The Crooked Man. I recorded up to the end of chapter 1 of this, but it didn't actually record the video for some reason. So, I'm going to go ahead, play through it again, try to get it done as quick as I can, and try to not be as boring as as I can be, having already done this before. Uh, if you remember last time, we had our first encounter with the Crooked Man. And he grabbed us and didn't really want to let us go. I'm trying to remember where I have to go now. That's right, it's up here. <laughs> Well, who else would have screamed, David? Well, apparently the floor fell out from beneath her. You should jump across. It's exactly the reason why you should jump across. Oh, the poor girl's crying. Does anyone else notice that she looks like a redhead in the, the close-up pictures, but out here she's completely brunette? Man, it's a good thing I thought ahead and made two save files in, in case something stupid happened like my video not recording. Uh, I really don't know anything about the guy I'm looking for. I just know he's about my age. He might be black, Mexican, Caucasian. Uh, he, he might even be a little Chinese man. Or a big Chinese man, for that matter. And he reacts right here like he's 12. <laughs> I am not. See you soon, strange brunette red-haired girl. And with that, to the basement. You just use your lighter again. Come on down here. The bronze key. Considering the fact that it doesn't have a number on it, I should tell you that it goes to the bar. The 
it's probably for the best that I'm having to record this a second time, because the first time through, I was doing a really stupid voice reading this. I don't even know what kind of accent it was. It was like a mixture of British and something else. that to the library. The library is the other way. Why was I running that way? The trick to this puzzle is seeing what chapter numbers are missing. So I have one, two, three's gone. Six and seven are gone, and nine is gone. So you gotta remember three, six, seven, nine are right here. First time through, I didn't save. And ran into smiling again. Had to do all this over again. Show me that smile again. Don't waste another minute on your crying when I was near the end. Alright, come on, Smiley. See, I died here like four times trying to figure out what to do, trying to run away. I love that sound. But, uh, yeah, I died a couple times trying to figure out what to do, and I thought maybe I can jump in the hole. That's whenever I found out you can just kick him in. Yeah, that'll go over really well. Hey, sissy, there's this strange guy, and and his head is upside down. Well, it's not really upside down. His neck is just... He's kind of like a a, a... a weird giraffe man. With a neck that hangs off to the side. And that's how his head's upside down. Good thing there's a ladder. Two, two, ten. Something I, I've noticed about this game, the while that I've been playing it, it, it's like, go to this room, find a key. Go to this room, find a notebook piece that tells you to go back to this room to find a key. You then you go to this room to find a weird note that has a key inside of it. Real men never forget. Whoa, personal space. Yeah, you won't believe me, sissy. I saw this strange guy that smiles. He has no eyes, but he smiles at you. And he goes, and then he tries to eat you. True story.
Look at it, how pale he is. Even though his sprite hasn't changed, it was enough for you to comment on it. So that should tell you that he's telling you the truth. Strange red writing on the floor. No, otherwise I would have looked at it. Come on, Chuggles. Well, it wasn't really a pit, you just kicked him into a hole in the floor. Here you throw the alcohol. Get our boy wet. Then light his ass on fire. It seems Mr. Crooked Man never learned stop, drop, and roll. 